So you're on YouTube and you search Glock 48 versus P365XL and you wind up here. Welcome. They're both extremely similar in size and they're both reliable, but they have some differences in features like magazine capacity and trigger. So in this video, I could go over the basics of how they're different, like every other comparison video on the search engine. But instead, I wanna talk about how their subtle differences in shape make a huge difference when it comes to concealment and shooting comfort. Spoiler alert, they're really not that drastically different, especially in their stock state. However, they are shaped very differently, and I think it's because of this slight difference in shape that the Glock 48 wins out in shooting comfort. Although some may prefer the more upright orientation of the grip on the P365XL, the Glock 48 has more meat front to back, especially down here. Now, what I believe that does for me as a shooter is twofold. It provides me with physically more gun in my hand as there's just more material here, but two, it makes contact with my entire hand. There's no portion of my hand left unused, which gives me an advantage when it comes to recoil management. Now let's take a look at the P365XL in my hand. First, you'll notice, of course, that there's just less meat to this grip overall. It's slightly shorter front to back, although nearly identical in length. However, a portion of my hand does hang off of this gun due to it having slightly less material to fill out my hands. And I think this slight difference is what contributes to it feeling slightly more snappy than the Glock 48. Now the same feature that makes the Glock 48 slightly more shootable than the P365XL is the very thing that makes the Glock 48 significantly more challenging to conceal than the P365XL. When you look at the grip on the Glock 48, it might remind you of something that you see in the shower every day, a block of soap. It's blocky. When you look at the P365XL in comparison, you might notice that it's more curvy in profile. It resembles a generally more organic shape than the Glock does. That, I think, is one thing that contributes to it being easier to conceal. The grip shape is more organic, which blends in more efficiently with organic body shapes and thus prints through clothing less. But more specifically, the P365XL lacks this sharp edge that the Glock 48 has, and it also lacks the overhang from the magazine protruding from the bottom of the gun. Both of these are significantly harsh shapes placed right on the edge of the grip, which is already the most prone to printing anyways. So although these guns are nearly identical in height, the P365XL Excel is actually noticeably easier to conceal. Now, if you've been watching this channel for any length of time, then you know I carried the Glock 48 for over a year and used it in USPSA matches until very recently. You also may know that I ultimately wound up switching my carry gun to the P365. I needed something more concealable in order to continue incorporating concealed carry into my everyday life, but I'll be the first to tell you that it's not the most pleasant thing to shoot. Now, I've added an aftermarket bore sight grip module onto my P365, which has the benefit of this little bump right here. This lets me take advantage of some of the shooting benefits we talked about earlier with having the grip thicker front to back without having the downside of concealment challenges by simply maintaining a radius edge rather than the Glock soap bar shape. So since this is a comparison video, which gun wins out over the other? Honestly, it depends on you and your priorities. For me, concealment is a really high priority and so is shootability. However, I won't choose a gun that compromises my concealment ability, no matter how much I enjoy shooting it. So for me, I'd say that I lean ever so slightly in the direction of the P365XL because it's much more friendly balance between shootability and concealability. I'll also add that the P365 is more modular and customizable in that you can easily and often inexpensively swap out the grip modules. Be careful doing that though, because if you select the wrong grip frame or even aftermarket parts in general, you will seriously limit your holster options. I will say though, I am ever so slightly partial to Glock due to the fact that I can add a striker control device for reholstering purposes and using the safety on the P365 for that same purpose is simply not as intuitive. Hopefully this video addressed some new things for you to consider as you go about comparing guns for concealed carry purposes. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.